Giancarlo oh, Stanton. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Eaton is under it. And that ends the inning. So one run. Digging in now, Jason Hayward. He'll start Leading the inning and we're back to the top of the order, Frank but they Hayward. haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet, right guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to Up hit are way worse. The shortstop, Trey Turner. Trey hey. Turner is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Seeger ranges to his left. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now batting, first baseman. Settling Adam in now, Lind. Adam Lind. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. Lind awaits the 0-1. And this is going to be a foul ball. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Leading off for the Mariners. And he's getting his first plate catcher, appearance here in the 40. eighth after entering Wilson, off the bench I'm just proud. a little bit ago. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Well, when you lead off an inning, you become the leadoff guy. Get on any way you can. And right there, that little infield single, as innocent as it might look, might start a rally for them. Do anything you can to get on. And there he goes towards second. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The batter, number nine. Here's D. Gordon now. He's working on a three hit Gordon. ball game right now. Runner breaks for third. And now they've got him picked off. He's sick. Here's the first pitch to him. Runner goes for third. And here's a ball hit in the air. Otto brings it in. And now they might have the runner caught off second. Throw back to second. And that's a double. In now is Anthony Rendon. We're Leading off for the Nationals. Third baseman. Anthony Rendon. Into the windup and the pitch. Nope. Just a bit high that nope. time as he misses for a ball. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Zero. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front. A ball and a strike. Little dribbler down the line. But that one rolls foul. It looks like fatigue's not going to be a factor for him. He's still popping the glove in the high 90s, and we're late in the game right now, Matt. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Time to be alert for signs of tiring here in the eighth. He's a pitch away from 100. Yeah, but he has been so good. You're talking about getting into the eighth inning with 100 pitches. Not many guys do that. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Well hit to right. But that's a foul ball. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Emmett Wilson stands in as he looks at a called strike. 
Second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate and he's behind now 0 and 2. Late swing and a ball line foul into the seats past the third base dugout. Another 0 and 2 coming. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches but the count will remain at 0 and 2. And he just misses with a curveball. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. His dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others, but not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. Now, Matt, I know this team hasn't scored a lot of runs in this game, but i got to look at the guy right behind the plate putting the fingers down. He's done a great job of really knowing this lineup and how to go after them. And he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Three. Now batting. Four. Hitting off for Seattle. Trucks down. Corey Seager. Pitch on the way. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 31 for him on the season as this lead got even wider. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Standing in now, Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Ball chopped Jr. foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. Boy, they have just not pitched well at all in this game. I mean, anytime you give up double ditches, the pitching coach starts looking over his shoulders like, hey, ain't my fault. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. And the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now at the plate, Kyle Seeger. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Kyle Seeger. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo shot down the line in right. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. One more time. He gets a pitch to handle. You have heard that before. And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. Here's J.D. Martinez. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Here it comes. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Freddie Freeman will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Into the windup and the pitch. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. 
and the pitch. Not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning. So two runs come across here both coming via the solo home run. Ken Giles enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Ready now Edward Otto starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Ryan Zimmerman will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The average not quite where he wants it down in the 220s. 10 home runs and 25 driven in. That misses says the home plate umpire one and two where it misses I'm not quite sure. One out nobody on. Tough pitch to lay off there but he did and it's even up at two and two. And a fastball just a bit high. Adam Eaton is on deck he'll hit next and he strikes him out as well so make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen the center fielder number two Adam Eaton started to go around but it's a called strike 0 and 1 and this will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Oh that was a good looking slider to hit it kind of hung him one when you got a throw on to first to be in time to get him and the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors but with every win it gets further and further away. We could say this now this is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. Eleven nothing the final shutout total in this one. The Seattle Mariners win for a division leading 110th time. Noah Syndergaard hosts his league leading 21st victory racking up 14 K's in doing so. Joe Ross allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. 11 runs on 18 hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Nationals, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 29 minutes. A reminder that Green Line Metro trains are available at the Navy Yard Station just north of the ballpark on M Street. Southbound service is also available at the Anacostia station just over the river. From there, transfer service to the blue, silver, and orange lines can be made at La Infant Plaza and red line service at Gallery Place, Chinatown. Also, free post-game Nats shuttle buses returning to RFK Stadium parking lot are available on M Street by way of Tingley Street.